These four people have never met before, but by working as a team, they have the chance to win thousands of pounds. There's just one thing standing in their way. The chaser. The chase is on. Hello and welcome to The Chase. Can a team of total strangers beat one of Britain's finest quiz brains and take home thousands of pounds? I certainly hope so. Let's meet them. I'm Terry, 42, a marketing consultant from Port Stewart. I'm Dave, I'm 60, I'm a primary school teacher from rugby. I'm Nicola, I'm 51, a hospital rep from Bridgend. I'm Sean, I'm 23, and I'm a senior administrator from Aldershot. And that is my team. Now, one by one, they'll try and bring as much money as they can down the table and into the team prize fund. But as always, hunting them down every step of the way will be the chaser. Anyone who gets caught loses their money and is out of the game. Make it back safely, though, and they'll go through to the final chase with the chance to win an equal share of that total prize fund. And first to face the chaser, it's Terry. Welcome to the show, Terry. First up, bit nervous? Very nervous. Yeah, you'll be fine, you'll be fine. Now, you're a marketing consultant. Yes. What do you get up to in your spare time? I do help out with the rowing at uh, the local school and university, so I coach. You were a rower yourself? <laughs> when I was young and a lot thinner, I used to do the exercise. <laughs> now I sit there and just tell kids what to do. And if you won some money today, what would you do with it? I would love to go to South America. I think I'd want to get away from Ireland during the winter and get somewhere warm for a change. <laughs> OK, fair enough. Terry, right, I wish you luck. Thank you. This is the cash build around. Your time starts now, the phrase, have a nice day, originated in the 20th century in what country? America. Correct. Superannuation and stakeholder are types of what saving scheme? Uh, government. Pension. Who sang with A Great Big World on the 2014 hit single, Say Something? Don't know. Christina Aguilera. The Cape Hare is native to the southern part of what continent? Africa. Correct. Slough and Scranton, Pennsylvania, are locations for two versions of what sitcom? Don't know. The Office. In what hands Christian Anderson's story is a soldier able to summon three powerful dogs? I don't know. The tinderbox. Oh. On the electromagnetic spectrum, ELF stands for extremely low what? Weird. Frequency. What nickname was given to Judge Jeffries because of his brutal sentencing? Uh, hanging. Correct. In netball, what's the only position identified by a single letter on a player's top? Goal. Centre. Okay. Most journeys on public transport in the UK are made on what type of vehicle? Would have been... No idea. A bus. Was it? Right. Uh, Terry, £3,000. Now, we can make some more money here, actually, when we get to the table. Time to face the chaser. Yes. Are you ready? Yes. But who will you be up against today? Will it be the Dark Destroyer, Sean Wallace? He went wild last night. He stayed in with a bumper edition of the Train Spotters Gazette. <laughs> perhaps it's the Beast, Mark LeBet. His favourite pizza topping is another pizza. Or perhaps it's the Governor, Sam Hegarty. A bloke picked her up the other night. That was lucky. He's got his own forklift. <laughs> or maybe the Cinnamon. Paul Sinner, sharp as attack, and he's planning to nail you today. So, who do you fancy taking on? Anne. Why is that? Because I think she's the only one I can flirt with. Good luck for that. Let's see who it is. Time to bring on the chaser. Oh, it is Anne as well. Look at that. It's gone very cold in the studio. It is indeed the governess herself. It's old Frosty Nickers. It's Anne Hegarty. Hello, Terry. Hi, Anne. How are you? I'm not here to flirt with you, just to catch you. Being hard to get. I don't think you're going to be hard to get. <laughs> <laughs> True. OK, there we are, £3,000, three steps ahead of the chaser. You can, of course, change your starting position now, and if you want to do so and take a step close to home, the chaser will offer you. Three pounds. Three quid? Yep. But if you wish to take a step closer to the chaser, she will offer you... £23,000. That's more like it. Thank you. Have a chat with your team. There you go. Sean. I think you should stick with the three. Get back here. Nicola. If you're feeling confident, go for the 23, but I would go for the three, definitely. Dave. I would suggest you go for the three, but I think you could get the 23. I've got every confidence in you. Right. Thank you. Thank you, team. Right, Terry, let's have a look. Three pound, three grand, 23,000. What are you thinking? The best odds for me is to go for the three grand. So I'm going to play it safe, and uh, hopefully the rest of the team will bring home the money. Yeah, yeah. Three grand it is, Chaser. I didn't think you were going to go low. Here we go. Terry, for three grand, the chase is on. Here comes your first question. Which writer said, such is the human race, 
Often it does seem such a pity that Noah didn't miss the boat. A, Louisa May Olcott. B, Henry James. C, Mark Twain. You've put Mark Twain. Yes. The only one I've heard of. <laughs> really? Yeah. No, you've heard of Louisa May Alcott. I haven't. Correct answer is... Well played, Mark Twain. Step close to home, Chaser has put. <laughs> Goes right also with Mark Twain. Yeah, Louisa May Alcott wrote Little Women. Oh, yes, then I have heard of her. Here's the next question. Which of these fruits has hairy droplets? A. Coconut. <laughs> B. Gooseberry. Or C. <laughs> C. Raspberry. You've put raspberry. How are your hairy droplets, all right? Uh, I think I know a hairy droplet when I see one. Yeah, yeah, good. <laughs> Correct answer is... It is raspberry. Well played. Step close to home. Chaser has put. Goes also right with raspberry. What's a hairy droplet? A raspberry is made up of lots of tiny, tiny little berries. I see, of course. Yeah, that's what a droplet is. Like a blackberry. I get it. Oh. Here's the next question. In which Charles Dickens novel is Master Bates a young member of a gang of pickpockets? A. Great Expectations. B. Our Mutual Friend. C. Oliver Twist. You've put Oliver Twist. I think I knew that one. Well, we shall see. Correct answer is... It is Oliver Twist. Well played. Step close to home. Chaser has put. Goes also right with Oliver Twist. Here's your next question. Facebook was originally limited to students at which American university? A. Harvard. B. Princeton. C. Yale. You've put... Harvard. Yeah, I think I saw the film. Um, and I'm sure it was maybe because of Harvard something. Yeah. Correct answer is... I think you're right. Well played. Step close to home. Chaser has put... Goes right also with Harvard. Get through on this. We'd have had two shots at 23 grand. Here's the next question. Oops. In 1929, the Newport pottery was given over entirely to the decoration of which ceramic designer's work? A. Clarice Cliff. B. Bernard Leach. C. Lucy Ree. You've put Clarice Cliff. A uh, bit of a guess. I think Newport's down in the West Country. So if that is the case, I think that's where Clarice Cliff was. If it's right, we're through. Come on. The correct answer is... Come on, Terry. Yes! Sales man. Sales Bernard Leach, actually, is the one out of those three associated with the West Country. OK. Brilliant, though. Well played, Terry. First player up, first player through. Well done, mate. Congratulations. Thank you very much. You are my first player through with £3,000. <laughs> Excellent. Well done. Next to face the chaser, it's Dave. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Dave. Thank you, Bradley. Primary school teacher from rugby. That's correct. All right, and how long have you been teaching? I've been teaching now for 38 years in the classroom. Wow. Yeah. Same school? No, about three or four different schools over the time, but, uh, yeah, 38 years. Uh, how do you relax, Dave? Believe it or not, I do quizzes. Good. And, uh, but not actually taking part, I actually do what you do. You host them? I host them and I make them up and uh, do them in pubs and charities. All right, look, um, if you want some money today, what would you do with it? Well, my daughter lives in Bermuda. Really? So, yeah. So we go out and visit her. Uh, that would be a great way to spend some money, wouldn't it? What's her name? Her name is Julie. Right, let's get you out to see Julie, shall we? Yeah, please. All right, Dave, I wish you luck. Your time starts now. The specialist subject round features in what long-running BBC quiz? To mine, correct. The Temple of Sulis Minerva is part of the Roman remains in what English city? Uh, St Albans. Bath. In Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends, what colour's Henry? 
Green, correct. Which former Wham! singer had a number one album in 2014 with George Sim Michael? Correct. A document recording wishes after death is called A Last Will and What? Testament. Correct. What method is used for cooking the eggs in the dish Eggs Florentine? Uh, pass. Poached. The Tibetan Book of the Dead is an ancient text in what religion? Buddhism. Correct. Which Danish born comedian received an OBE in 2014? Uh, pass. Sandy Toxfig. Which author said her raw material was three or four families in a country village? Jane Austen. Correct. Every Second Counts was a tagline of what Kiefer Sutherland TV series? 24. Correct. In 1995, Dayton Agreement was named after a city in which state? Ohio. Correct. Abba the Museum is located in what country? Sweden. Correct. <laughs> what? Dave, very good indeed. Nine grand. <sighs> That's setting questions, that is. That's taking it all in. <laughs> Bermuda, here we come. Here we come. <laughs> Time to face the chaser. Hello, Dave. Hello, Anne. I think you should consider giving up setting quizzes and start taking part in them. <laughs> Thank that you. That was most impressive. That's very kind. Thank you. Mm, indeed. Right, nine grand. If you wish to take a step closer to home, Chaser will offer you. £3,000. But, whoa, that's a great low offer. Thanks. Uh, but if you wish to take a step closer to the Chaser, she'll offer you... I'll offer you £1,000 for every year you've been teaching. <laughs> that's £38,000. <sighs> Have a chat with your team. Sean. Oh. Dave, you did so well on the cash builder. Thank you. £9,000 is amazing. I, I come back with the 9000 Nicola. OK. I'm sure you could do the 38000 if you feel confident enough, but I would go for the nine grand. Okay. Terry, okay. guarantee yourself a seat here and come back with the nine. I think it's hard to sacrifice the nine for just the extra step, isn't it? Well, we have three, we have nine, and we have £38,000. Just like that offer of 38000 it's just staring me in the face, and I love the idea of one for every year I've been teaching. And taking oh, on correct. a chaser. And taking on a ch The thrill of the chase. You bet, Dave. We've got it all going on. What do you reckon? Go on, we'll go for it. You've got to do it. You'd be <laughs> mad not to, Dave, mate. <laughs> 38 grand. that's what it's all about. That's what we're going to do. Chaser? Okay. That is absolutely superb. Good luck, mate. Thank you, Bradley. Dave, for £38,000, the chase is on. It's the first person I've ever had standing next to me and say the actual phrase, it's the thrill of the chase. Brilliant. <laughs> it's exactly what it is. Let's do it. Here's your first question. Which of these monarchs reigned the longest? A, Queen Anne. B, Queen Mary II. C, Queen Victoria. You've put Queen Victoria. Yeah, that's... To be honest, I think that's dead right. I mean, Queen Anne was very, very short time. Queen Mary II, haven't even heard of her, unless it was with William IV. Queen Victoria, Victorians, 1837, 1901. <laughs> I didn't want to do that, but I have, sorry. Do you want to do what? Show off. <laughs> Dave, I didn't want to, Dave, I didn't want to do Dave, that. if you had a top hat and a cane, you'd better dance. <laughs> That's showing off, mate. <laughs> Don't worry about it. The correct answer is... <laughs> Queen Victoria. <laughs> Chaser has put... <laughs> Queen Victoria. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, at the moment, she's the longest reigning monarch we've ever had, 63 and a half years. So, really, there was nothing in it. Queen Anne, uh, 1702 to 1714. Queen Mary II, 1689 to 1694. Here's your next question. <sighs> what shape is the line on a graph representing normal distribution? A, diagonal line, B, bell-shaped curve, or C, parabola? Hmm, <laughs> now then. You've put normal dis I don't know what normal distribution is. No, nor did I. <laughs> You've put bell-shaped curve. Correct answer is. <laughs> Oof. Step closer home, Dave. <laughs> I haven't, haven't got a clue. Chaser has put. <laughs> oh, hello. 
most graphs that you see have a bell-shaped curve. Ah. Not very many at one end and not very many at the other end, and most are in the middle. So they go up like that? Yeah. Got you. OK, thank you. Here's your next question. Which of these songs topped the UK charts before the others? A, Albatross, B, Pretty Flamingo, C, Little Red Rooster? Oh, goodness. You've put Little Red Rooster. Who was that by? Rolling Stones, 1964. Pretty Flamingo. Is that Manfred Mann, 66? And Albatross, Fleetwood Mac, 68? Don't show off, Dave. <laughs> 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 You've put Little Red Rooster. Correct answer is... <laughs> Well played. Brilliant. Step close to home. Chaser has put. Also goes with Little Red Rooster. Good match. Here's your next question. Which novel by William Golding is about schoolboys stranded on an uninhabited island? A, The Inheritors. B, Lord of the Flies. C, Rites of Passage. You've put... Lord of the Flies? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, William Goldie. Correct answer is... Well played, step close to the home. Chaser has put Lord of the Flies is right. Also goes with the Lord of the Flies. Two more and we're home. Come on. Which stately home has the postcode DE451PP? A, Blenheim Palace. B, Castle Howard. C, Chatsworth House. You've put Chatsworth House. Yeah. I mean, I'm guessing, but DE to me stands for... Derby. Derby. And Chatsworth House is just outside Nottinghamshire. of Derby. Derbyshire. Correct answer is... Step close to home. Chatsworth House is right. Chaser has put... Goes right also with the Chatsworth House. Right, we've got two shots of getting okay. out now. Good luck, mate. Here's your question. Which US president said, if you want to test a man's character, give him power? A, George Washington. B, Abraham Lincoln. C, Bill Clinton. Ooh, no. You've put... Let's have a look. Lincoln. <laughs> I didn't think it could be Bill Clinton. So it's a toss-up between George Washington and Abraham Lincoln. Just well, I reckon, yeah, Just fingers focus. crossed. Come on, here we go. For 38 grand. You've put Abraham Lincoln. The correct answer is... I reckon. You nailed it there, Dave. Yes! Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I got carried away. That's great. You get no, carried away, carried Dave. Away. Sorry. Chaser, good player. Yeah, very good indeed. Yes, it's a reference to giving other people power, and uh, Lincoln, as a war leader, obviously uh, had the ability to make people generals. Right. Well deserved. Thank you very well much. Well done, you, you, mate. Go on, in you go, Dave. Thank you. Congratulations. Oh, Brilliant good. stuff. Hmm. Well, now I've got to make sure the other two don't get through. All right, Terry and Dave are through. There is £41,000 in the prize fund. We're only halfway through. Nicola's up after the break. Can she add to it? I hope so. We'll see you in a minute. <laughs> Welcome back. Next to face the chaser, it's Nicola. Welcome to the show, Nicola. Thank you very much, Bradley. You're a hospital rep. OK, what are you getting up to in your spare time? Well, we've got quite an old house, which we've done up over the years. A couple of years ago, we did the garden, sort of finished off the garden, and we've got a pond full of fish and koi carp, and um, we really need the pond to be cleaned out and need to get an expert in. Right. So we can sit down by the pool and have a little look at the fish swimming around with a glass of wine. A bit, of, yes. bit relaxing time. Absolutely. And why not? That's great. Uh, if you want some money today, then let's, what would you like, a filtration system or Absolutely, something? Absolutely, yeah. I'd like to be able to see the fish swimming around instead of the uh, green water that we've got at the moment. OK. I wish you well, Nicola. <sighs> Good luck, your time starts now. What detective is the protagonist of the Conan Doyle novel, The Valley of Fear? Um, pass. Sherlock Holmes. Which 80s satirical TV show launched the careers of Steve Coogan and Harry Enfield? 
Pass. Spitting image. Which biblical patriarch's name is used to refer to a very old person? Methuselah. Correct. Richard Rogers wrote the music to South Pacific. Who wrote the lyrics? Hammerstein. Yes, Oscar Hammerstein. The island of Dominica is located at the eastern end of what sea? Caribbean. Correct. The Honourable Artillery Company of the British Army was founded by which king? No idea. Henry VIII. I'm a Freak was a 2014 hit for which Spanish-American singer? Pass. Enrique Iglesias. John Maynard Keynes wrote a general theory of employment, interest and what? Pass. Money. The Radcliffe Road and Pavilion Ends are at what test cricket ground? Lords. Trent Bridge. The aim of the Red Dragon space project is to take samples from what planet? Mars. Correct. 1963. No time to get there, Nicola. £4,000. Got to say, I think you're a better player than £4,000 because there are some stinkers in there. Um, ready? Yeah. Time to face the chaser. Hello, Nicola. Hello, Anne. I used to have a koi carp in my pond. Did you? Didn't last long once the piranhas saw it. <laughs> Unnecessary. Uh, <laughs> £4,000, if you wish to take a step closer to home, Chaser will offer you... £1,000. But if you wish to take a step closer to the Chaser, she will offer you... £44,000. Big money, that. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll get some big offers today. Thanks. Mm -hmm. um, have a chat with your team there, Nicola. Sean. I think you should go for the £1,000. Just get back here. Wow. Thank you. All right, uh, uh, crikey, uh, didn't expect that, Sean. Dave? Go for the four and get back here. Yep, Terry? Uh, the chase has got nothing wrong so far, but I think you can get the four easily. Yeah, I, I agree too. I can understand Sean's conservatism there. Right, we have one for £44,000. What are you thinking? Well, it's a fantastic offer, but I'm not feeling confident enough to go for that one. Right. Um, I'll stick with the four that I've earned. You sure? Yes, I'll stick with that. OK, four it is. Thank you very much. Chaser? Yes, I can understand why you're nervous. Next time you're asked which detective in a Arthur Conan Doyle novel, the answer is Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> Take no notice. <laughs> Nicola, for four grand, the chase is on. Here's your first question. In 1981, which classic sitcom debuted with an episode called Big Brother? A, Only Fools and Horses, B, Faulty Towers, C, The Good Life. You've put Only Fools and Horses. I know it's... I'm pretty certain it's not Faulty Towers, because there were only 12 of those, and I don't think it's The Good Life. So that, there's only 12 of what? 12 episodes of Faulty Towers. Is there? Mm. Really? Yeah. Only two series of uh, six episodes each. No. Yeah. Well, I never knew that. Correct answer is... <laughs> well played. Only Fools and Horses is right. Step close to home. Chase has put. <laughs> Goes right with Only Fools and Horses. Here's your next question. <sighs> Founded in 1797, Hatchards of Piccadilly claims to be London's oldest surviving what? A. Restaurant. B. Bookshop. C. Taylor. You've put... Bookshop. Mm. Bit of a guess. It could be Taylor, actually. It could be any of them. Correct answer is... Well played. Bookshop's right. Step close to home. Chaser's put... Goes right also with Bookshop. Here's your next question. How many strings does a cello have? A4... B5, C6. You've put... Four. Violin's got four, I think. I used to play, play it when I was young, but I hated it. Cello's just a bigger version. Correct answer is... Well played, step close to the home. Four's right, Chaser's put. Goes right with four. Good game, this. Here's your next question. What type of coarse flour is the main ingredient in the dark brown bread pumpernickel? A, buckwheat. B, spelt. C, rye. You've put... rye. Is pumpernickel the thin sort of thing that's like uh, 
Eating, eating like shoe leather, yeah. cork. It's like <laughs> yeah. eating cork, yeah. isn't it? The correct answer is. Well played, right? That's right. Step close to home, but if you're playing well, I've got to say, Chaser has put. Goes right also with right. It remains the three behind. We'll run from home. Three chances now of getting out. Here's the next question. Who is the first person to have won both an Oscar and a Turner Prize? A. Damien Hurst. B. Sam Taylor Wood. C. Steve McQueen. You've put Damien Hurst. I think he's won a Turner Prize. I don't think Steve McQueen has. And I haven't heard of Sam Taylor Wood, I'm afraid. Correct answer is to go through with four grand. Ouch, staying where you are. Chaser has put. Goes right with Steve McQueen. Moves to the two. All right, now then, two more chances of getting out. Let's do it. Here's your question. To what order of architecture does Nelson's column belong? A, Corinthian, B, Doric, C, Tuscan. You've put Corinthian. Just sounds right. I'm not sure. Well, listen, if you've got it right, we're through. You've put Corinthian. Here we go. The correct answer is... Seriously, well played. Corinthian, Doric? Yeah, the uh, the difference is in all the fluffy stuff going on at the top of the column. Ah. Um, Doric is the very plain one. Right. Um, Ionic is the one with two twirly bits. Right. And Corinthian is the one with sort of enormous amounts of frills and... Floral, uh, yeah. floral stuff and all that. Yeah. Oh, well, I never knew that. There you go. Good for you, Nicola. Well played. Thank you. Congratulations. Yeah. Well done. 45,000 well smackers in the Good pot. Well it's going very, very well, I have to say. Well OK, now, <laughs> Sean is up after the break. She advised Nicola to go low there. So, will Sean go low? Yeah. Find out after the break. <laughs> Welcome back. Last up, it's Sean. Welcome to the show, Sean. Thank you. Now, you're an administrator of some description. I am. In what sort of industry? Um, I basically work at a training provider. Um, we provide apprenticeships. In your spare time, what do you get up to? Um, I like my karaoke. I also do pole dancing. OK. Have you ever thought of combining the two? I quite often combine the two. Pole dancing and karaoke. So, what would be the song you would sing? I guess uh, Titanic. My heart would go on, would go quite nicely with yeah, some uh, of the moves. Yeah. <laughs> OK. If you want some money today, what would you do with it? Uh, my sister's getting married next year. She's getting married in Jamaica. So I need really? a flight. Really? Don't worry about the flight. David dropped you off on the way to Bermuda. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sean. I wish you luck. Your time starts now, in what country was the California roll type of sushi invented? Japan. USA. What store opened in 1909 with the slogan, all your shopping under one roof? Uh, Selfridges. Correct. What Russian novel was made into a film with Omar Sharif and Julie Christie? Anna Korokova. Dr Shivago. Which Norwegian led the expedition that beat Captain Scott to the South Pole? Pass. Roald Amundsen. In geometry, how many internal angles does a pentagon have? Uh, five. Correct. The preserved medieval village of Lavenham is in what county? Uh, Derbyshire. Suffolk. In 2013, what won best soap for the first time at the Inside Soap Awards? Coronation Street. Emma Dale. The business regulator, the FCA, is the financial conduct what? Uh, regulator. Authority. What obelisk was erected in Central Park, New York in 1881? Pass. Cleopatra's Needle. The Roman Emperor Commodus appears in what Ridley Scott film? Pass. Gladiator, the Southern Carpathian Mountains. £2,000. Sean, are you ready? Yeah. Time to face the chaser. Hello, Sean. Hi, Anne. 
I'm afraid there's only room for one pole dancer on this show. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> £2,000 three steps ahead of the chaser. Now, if you wish to take a step close to home, chaser will offer you... Minus £5,000. OK, uh, if you wish to take a step closer to the chaser, she'll offer you... £55,000. Oh. oh, 55 Takes up to 100 grand. <laughs> Lovely. Thanks uh, for that. OK, have a chat with your team. Now then, here we go. This is interesting. Nicola. I think you could do the 2000 but if you feel happier with the minus five, we need you back here, definitely. Dave, realistically, your two grand is your best bet. OK, Terry? i got roughly the same money as you've got in the cash builder. You could find this section easier. Go for the 2K. All right, now, thank you very much. Um, the choice is yours. Tough decision, this, by the way. Minus five to 55,000. If I took the minus off, I'd be walking out the studio, minus my pride, so I'm going to take the 2,000. Two grand it is. Good for you. Chaser? Yes, I am impressed. All right. Sean, for £2,000, the chase is on. Ooh, good luck to you. Here comes the first question. Which of the actors who played the Doctor in Doctor Who famously wore a long scarf? A, Tom Baker. B, William Hartnell. C, Peter Davison. You've put Tom Baker. It was before, before I was born. Um, but something in the back of my mind is telling me it's Tom Baker. You've put Tom Baker. Correct answer is... Well played. Tom Baker's right. Step close to home. Chaser has put... Also goes with Tom Baker. Here's your next question. Look to her more... If thou hast eyes to see is a line from which Shakespeare play. A, Hamlet. B, Macbeth. C, Othello. You've put Macbeth. I wasn't sure. I studied Hamlet and Macbeth in school and college. I don't recognise the line. Um, so it was a gamble. Correct answer is... Othello's the right answer, staying where you are. Chaser has put. Yeah, it goes right with Othello. Othello's uh, subtitle is The Moor of Venice. Here's your next question. Which of these is the name of the explorer who claimed Canada for France in the 16th century? A. Cartier. B. Longines. C. Tissot. You've put. Longines. Not a clue. No, tough this. You've put Longine, correct answer is? She'll know this, though, you know that, Sean. Yeah. Bad luck, Cartier's the right answer. Chaser has put. Goes right with Cartier, moves to within one. We're four from home. Here's the next question. Which organ of the human body is made up of four chambers? A, heart, B, kidney, C, liver. You've put. Heart. My dad's a doctor. So if I get this wrong... <laughs> You're in trouble. I'm in trouble. Correct answer is... Yeah. Well played. Heart's correct. Step close to home. Chaser has put... Also goes with heart. No problem at all. Here's your next question. Three to go. Come on. What is the only US state to border just one other state? A. Maine. B. North Dakota. C, Ohio. Oh. Ouch and double ouch. You've put Maine. What made you put that? Only one I hadn't heard of. Correct answer is... Got to get lucky here, Sean. Oh! Step close to the home. Well played. Chaser's put... Goes right also with Wayne. Sticks with us, though. Here's next question. Come on, Sean. Two more, love. According to legend, the shape of tortellini pasta was reputedly inspired by what part of Venus's body? A. Lips. 
B, ear, C, navel. You've put lips. Well, Tanini's long, I think. Is it? Well, it's, it's kind of like... Maybe I'm thinking the wrong one. Wouldn't know. You've put lips. Correct answer is... This has got to be right. She'll probably know this. The correct answer is navel. We're staying where we are. Now then, Chaser has put. <laughs> That's a shame because I needed you back there, actually. Team of four, full house, not to be. I am impressed that you're going home with your pride intact because I really did think you were going to go for the low offer. So kudos for not doing that. Thank you. But for the rest of you, have you noticed I haven't got one wrong yet? Yes. Mm. Mm. Bad news for me, though, because I lose my fourth player. Sean, I'm sorry. Great playing along, Sergi, but you have been caught and for you the chase is over. Thank you. Lovely to have met you. <laughs> so, the chaser hasn't got a question wrong all game. However, Nicola, Dave and Terry have outrun her on their personal head-to-head. -head. Can they do it one more time and go home with £15,000 each? Find out after the break. <laughs> Welcome back. Nicola, Dave and Terry have made it through to the final chase and there's £45,000 in the prize fund. So, during the break, the team had two...